Well, as we begin to wrap up Hispanic Heritage Month, one thing you can never forget is the true beauty and amazing strength of Latin women. One organization has been uplifting Latinas for decades. So here's a look at Miss Texas Latina. <laughs> It's rich in culture, beauty, and full of life, and represents women throughout the Latin community. It's Miss Texas Latina, and it's all about uplifting Hispanic women and their heritage from around the world. I love this program because it gives uh, Latinas an opportunity to have a voice, to break uh, negative stereotypes about our culture, and also show the world who we are, what we're made of, and it's amazing. Miss Texas Latina was created in 1983, the goal to showcase the incredible women in the Hispanic community, but to also promote the ideas, culture, interests, and aspirations of this country's most powerful emerging market, with Latina women leading the way. And that's our mission, is giving you a voice to really speak what you're passionate about and also show your family and have an impact in our community. For the new Miss Texas Latina, Kayla Dillard, crowned Labor Day weekend, this recent graduate of Sam Houston State University says this is an opportunity she could only dream of that has now come true. I'm like in shock. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, when I put this on, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So I was still in school while I was preparing. I was working full time at the YMCA, and then I was also doing trainings, going to different events and things like that. So I had a full plate mm -hmm. during my preparation, but it really helped me ground myself and the organization. I made it here. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. The program has both a Miss and Teen division, allowing contestants ages 13 to 27 to compete. And with Dillard being the Miss winner, she now moves to compete for the National Miss U.S. Latina, whose winner advances to the International Miss Latina America of the World pageant. I want to share that I made history as the first black and Mexican Miss Texas Latina. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And it's not just about winning a crown. It's about being more than a model. It's about being a role model, which is evident in their community program called Fire You Up. So that training is what really, really carries the confidence and it builds women from the inside out. It helps them really connect with what they're good at and also focus on their mental health. And more than anything, it's about uplifting Latina women to recognize how truly great they are and help them also see that they are shaping the future economically and culturally into the next century. I really never thought that I would be here. It's really about what I've learned from Natalia is making yourself uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Because when you make yourself uncomfortable, you achieve things that you never thought you would be able to achieve. And those little Afro Latina women out there and girls yes. are seeing someone that looks like them saying that, hey, if she can do it, I can I do can it, do it. Right? Exactly, and that's why I talk about being a trailblazer and kind of being the first one to do it so I can show others they can do it as well. And for more information, check out their website, MissTXLatina.com. In Houston, I'm Sharon Melton. And get this, they are already taking applications for their fall pageants and events right now. So go to our website, CW39.com, after the show for all of that information. We are CW39 Houston, no wait weather and traffic.